Hello and welcome to Nookbunga Studios. In this video, I'm continuing my M32 edit series and we're going over the routing page in the software. So let's get right into it. Okay, so when you're in the software, come over to this far right panel and you'll see routing. It's the second option from the right on the top row. So click that, our routing window opens up and we can get right into routing some inputs and outputs better view here. So on the first page, we've got our main 32 inputs. So this is what comes across the first 32 uh, faders. So you can have, uh, have them the local inputs on the desk. You can have the, through the AES 50, A or B, that's through like the S32 and S16 and SD16 and SD8, and the, the digital stage boxes, digital snakes, if you wanna call them that. Uh, I can I could do a whole other video on the AES50 system and how you connect different things. You can also connect a second mixer to your front of house mixer and have your inputs plugged in there. This is just routing, saying you want your inputs from the AES50 and not from the local. Uh, you've also got the option of card inputs. So if you're using the card and have like Pro Tools or Logic or any DAW connected, you can then bring 32 inputs from that DAW as the inputs to the 32 channels. Or you can have user-defined inputs, which I'll get into later when we get down to these pages. That's that. Then we come to the AS50. So this is about the outputs and what outputs you're sending to the AS50, to your stage box. So I'm sending my uh, outs 1 to 8 and 9 to 16, to 1 to 8 and 9 to 16. But you can route the input straight back out um, right away so you can, that's uh, easy to do here. You can route through 48 channels of AS50A and 48 of AS50B. So lots of options there. Then we've got the card option. So this is what sends to the card input. Um, so you can select your locals, your AS 50s, send the card back to itself, or you can select any of your outputs, or you've got your user options. Again, user out, user in, which I'll get to when we get down there. XLR. This is about the XLR outputs. Um, and you're again, very similar to AS50, but they've split it into smaller bunches, determining what goes out the XLR outputs. And then this is your routing of which buses go to which out, which, or well, what goes to which outputs. So you've got your 16 outputs here, you've got 16 buses, but you also have your left, right, your matrix and your direct outs. So this is routing in, sorry, these two here are routing in big groups. And then when you get in here, you gotta send specific things, specific places. So this is, so when it shows, so these outputs are controlled by where this is set and the where this is set. Um, and then inside that, it just takes whatever outputs you've selected on those two and then you can send whatever channels you want to whichever outputs. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I can do another video about it if that's not clear. It's basically the block routing to tell you if it's, these two are the block routing to tell you if it's in the, in the desk or in the stage box or wherever. And then this is where you do the individual routing of bus to output. So I'm sending pretty much one to one for my mix buses. And then on, in the middle, I've got effects. So, and I use those, so they don't need outputs. So then I use those outputs for my subwoofer, front of house, and then an overflow I have. Uh, and 16 is also an overflow. This is a design I've done because you can only change the buses tap, which is the post fader, pre fader, post EQ, um, for two channels at a time. The, you can't do individually. So I had to separate out my two overflows because I have two separate overflows that I want with a different tap, so I can't have them next to each other. So they need to be separated, sitting by themselves. 
which is a little difficult, but I made it work. Uh, out delay is, you know, if you've got a delay stack speakers, you can put a delay on the speakers and it measures in feet and meters and milliseconds. So that's easy for you to see. You know, if it's 562 feet away, then you know, you can easily sort of do that. Your auxiliary outs, which are on the quarter inch jacks or the 6.3 millimeter jacks on the back of the desk. They, uh, there's no auxiliary outs on any of the AS50 stuff, um, unless maybe. Uh, and then if you have a, another desk connected, you, you, those are just local. You can't AS50 the AUX, as far as I'm aware. So these are used for other outputs, usually matrixes, um, but you can set anything through it if you want to. Direct channels, main left, right, mix buses, matrixes. The Ultranet, this is for the P16 system. And this tells you, so this is the 16 channels. P16s, if you don't know, uh, a thing made by Behringer that is sort of an in-ear monitor mixer. So they get 16 channels and the band gets to mix each, their own mix themselves. It's really great, you should look it up uh, if you're interested. So this page determines what those 16 channels that they're mixing are. And that's so you can make them buses or direct outs or matrices or whatever. The IQ setup is about uh, the turbo sound speakers. So you can select turbo sound speakers and then you can have, and then these go separately to your main speakers. And you know, you don't have to use any buses or outputs for this, it's just a separate thing, which is really cool. Now we can get into the user inputs and outputs. This can get a little bit tricky. So you can put your block, so I have my block there uh, and say, so user in and out, very much the same, it's just reference about inputs or outputs. So you'll see I have a block here, so mix bus seven is select. So you'll see that output one is picking up mix bus, mix bus seven from output five, from out five and then Output two is out 16. So I've used the user in out um, to make it work because you can just patch around whatever you have. So I can come in here, my user in. So from inputs one to eight, I can have this one. I can have, this is two. This is three. And you know, that's, so it's inputs one, eight. I can have card three and eight, you know, however you really want to do it. It's totally up to you. So this is about what you have. So these are the same, you know, eight inputs, which is those eight inputs there. And then the top line is you know, the top line up here. You can have you know, however you want. So that's really useful uh, to route around things. You used to have to do things in, you could only do them in blocks of eight. There's no way around it. So if you wanted something special, you just couldn't do it. So this has been a huge advancement in a, one of the sort of recent updates. And then yeah, user outs, pretty much the same thing. You just have the outputs as well. So it's a little different, but very much the same. Hopefully you've really enjoyed that and learnt lots about the routing page. If you do want me to go over anything more specific and cover that out particularly, let me know down in the comments down below. If you have any other questions or want to answer anyone's questions, go down there, help each other out, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, notifications on, so you know when I post the next video in this series, and go check out the playlist to see the past videos. Now, go do some audio.